Hi guys, it's ASBY here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now recently I did a video on the brand new Samsung S9 versus the Samsung S8, which I will leave linked here if you are interested. And the reason why I did that is of course because the Samsung S9 was unveiled at MWC in Barcelona. That video has now led me on to this video because a lot of you guys who are looking to purchase the new Samsung S9, you might be looking for ways to change from the Samsung interface, the TouchWiz or Grace UX as it's also known as, and you may be looking to go more stock Android. One of the main gripes for many people that buy the Samsung product is the fact that they don't run with stock Android or as near to stock Android as possible. And there's quite a lot of bloatware and a lot of people think that stock Android is a much cleaner interface. So what I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can actually change your interface to resemble that of stock Android or of course the Google Pixel and obviously Pixel 2 XL. They obviously all run stock Android because it's created by Google. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto my phone and show you what it's all about. Now, first thing to note, you, you might be looking at this going, well, hang on a minute, that's not the Samsung S9. And yes, no, it's not, but it will work in exactly the same way. I'm, of course, doing this demo on the OnePlus 5T, but what I've done is I've installed a Samsung launcher so that it kind of resembles what you may be looking at when you've got your Samsung S9 in front of you. Now, first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Google Play Store. And then once you're in your Google Play Store, you're going to want to search for these three different launchers. They're all Android Oreo launchers. And of course, when Android P is released in August time, I believe, you may be looking at this then. You'll be able to do the exact same thing with an Android 9 or Android P launcher as well, just to give it that stock Android feel. So what we're going to do is you're going to type in at the top Android stock launcher or stock Android launcher or Android Oreo launcher as well. And I've tested lots of these. I've, I've kept three on here to show you these examples because I feel these are probably the best at this moment in time on the market. There is also a very popular launcher called Nova Launcher. I'm sure many of you are aware of it. The only reason why I haven't included it in this video is because it is probably the most well-known Android launcher on the market. I will leave that link below as well if you are interested in checking that one out as well. The first one we're gonna look at is one called O Launcher, eight for Android, O or launcher I mean that's that's pretty long-winded but you get the idea of what it's gonna be about and then what you're gonna to want to do you're gonna to want to install this app and click on open once you've opened it it'll say O oh, launcher there it'll say let's go at the bottom and then you run through a few little steps you just simply click skip or next I'll just go to next you can choose your actual Android theme whether you want it to have sort of different style different shaped icons or whether you want the circle theme I'll go with Android O theme and I'll click on next the same for dark or light I'll again go with dark and again you can go with pixel style or classic style that's completely up to you I'll go as the title suggests stock Android pixel we'll go with that one and I'll click next again and then again you can choose all app buttons or no app buttons I'll just do always the one on the left and then you can choose what size icons you want as well uh, once you've done that you can either set default launcher or you can click later in case you're not sure whether you're going to like it or not you probably will want to set it to later and then click on apply. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you a few instructions about what the individual things can do. Uh, and I'll obviously let you read that in your own time, but it just basically gives you a bit of information, including this one here, which is pretty handy. You can go straight to that icon there for more settings. So if we just go got it and I click on that, as you can see, you've got like your Wi-Fi, your sound brightness and ringtone, all that sort of stuff in there. So it's kind of like a shortcut icon if you don't wanna go right to the top and drag down. It's some people are that lazy, they might not want to. So as you can see here, it looks like stock Android. It looks like the Pixel, you've got your all apps under here, uh, which you can either press or you can swipe up. It's completely up to you. And then obviously when you've got grouped apps together, you get that Android Oreo look where you've got the sort of four icons poking through. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It will just give your Samsung S9 or whatever phone you actually have that doesn't run stock Android, it will give it that stock Android look. Okay, so the next one is the Android OO launcher, and it's gonna do exactly the same in terms of installation, so I won't run you through that again. I'll simply click on open, and it'll open like this, and as you can see, it looks almost identical to the last one, but there'll just be few performance tweaks here and there, so you might prefer one over the other. And of course, all these are rated on Google Play as a four and a half, roughly, out of five stars. Um, this one has 12,000 downloads, I believe. The other one has about 6,000, but they're all around the same ratings. So certain launches you'll download from the Google Play Store will come with ads and you can generally 
usually pay for uh, premium accounts and, th and they're usually between sort of two and three pounds but it's completely up to you whether you want to go with one that has just a couple of ads and it's not overbearing on the whole most of them just have a couple that pop up here and there but it's not overbearing like I said or you can pay that couple of quid few quid and actually get the premium account and not have the ads so I would obviously recommend using free launchers first and then if you do like them you know that it's going to be money well spent and the final launcher is one called OK Launcher probably more than okay. It's <laughs> bad gag. Oreo launcher with Android uh, 8.0 and as you can see when we open it again it's very very similar. There'll be a few little tweaks here and there that will be slightly different. Um, again you've got your apps all in there you know up and down. Now this one is actually made by a team that actually do a Samsung launcher as well and that performs well for people who had a Samsung phone before and then they move on and get a different sort of launcher or, or stock Android and then they would prefer to use how they sort of know with the icons that they used to etc. So like I said that team have got a Samsung launcher they've also got this stock Android launcher and they may have another couple as well that I don't know about at this moment in time so they're certainly a developing team that do actually have some pretty decent work behind them. So again Again, just something you might want to try if you indeed want to make your Samsung S9 or whatever Samsung you have or whatever phone you have that doesn't run stock Android, you might want to put one of these launchers on in order to give it that stock Android look and feel. As always, like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Share this with your friends and family if they are indeed looking for a way to change their Samsung device or another device that doesn't run stock Android to give it that sort of feel. Show them this video because it might just help them. Subscribe and hit that little notification bell. If you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video on apps, smartphones, Android boxes, tablets, laptops, computers, software, hardware, all the good stuff, tech daily here on this channel. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. It's HBO TP's out.